channel and today is dun, 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 Friday. I am actually off on this lovely Friday which I am so happy because yesterday was kind of was kind of you know one of those days. Um, it was work. Um, but uh, we have about 11 days till Halloween. But tomorrow I'm gonna be going to a Halloween party so I have my outfit my husband has his outfit my my daughter has her outfit and we are gonna be characters from Beauty and the Beast so of course my lovely daughter is gonna be Belle my husband is gonna be the Beast and I am gonna be the Enchantress the one that turns the prince into the Beast so I am going to do, because I'm doing the original one, I'm not doing the live action one, I'm going to just do the original one, and she's wearing all green. So, I was thinking, green eyes, green shadow, everything. So, I'm going to attempt to try and do that look, so come with me, come with this journey, and let's get our face primed and ready, and I'll be right back. So I put on my moisturizer, which is this one, is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizer and Lotion with SPF 30. And I put on my eye primer already just to save some time, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. This one, and it's this color, which is white. Um, you can tell because it pops out my freaking whole face um i am gonna use greens like i said i'm gonna be using most all mostly all greens so i am gonna go with my disney morphe palette um this one has a lot of greens in my other palettes that i have so this the dark green all the way from right here these three this one and that one which i'm probably gonna be using not the darkest mm, I don't know let's just wing it I guess and I am gonna get my it's a lip uh, brush but I'm gonna be using it as a you know, not for your lips um, I'm gonna go in with this dark shade which it is I don't know how to pronounce it so it's this one right here I'm gonna go in with that one and I'm gonna try to do from here all the way in like right there i'm gonna make it like a oval kind of shape and hopefully it turns out if it doesn't oh well i still have tomorrow to figure it out right so i'm literally just gonna stamp it where i want it because you know i'm just i'm just winging it and knowing my butt See, I'm already doing like a wing line thing, and I didn't want that. It's just something that I do. Okay, so we're gonna go from here all the way to here. keep it as clean as possible because we're still going to be using different shades of green so I can shade this one I'm going to go with the lighter green that I have so we're just going to just stamp it on there and it does have fallout so this is why I didn't put my foundation in first because I knew all of that was going to go on there and I was just going to be green on the bottom of my eye and I didn't want that. So we're going to do this and then once we have that shape that you want, I am going to go in with a, hopefully I had a clean brush, but I don't have a clean brush. I do my makeup every freaking day for work, so having these brushes clean it's kind of a hassle and I use most I don't really go all crazy I just go neutral colors when I'm at work so it's just all browns and stuff so I just don't really clean up when I know I'm gonna just be using browns um, but it 
this one is from okay it does not say where it's from i think it's just a generic brand that i've got where someone got me i think this was like a christmas present and it just says eyeshadow so it's an eyeshadow brush and i am gonna go with this one right here it looks lighter but is um lighter but I think it'll work for the shading part that we need so it won't be so freaking harsh so let's go in go in with a small blending brush and we're just gonna blend these colors so it won't be so dang harsh on that line I am going on top of that green so we won't have such a harsh line and it is gonna take some time to um, blend it all out just because you know it is a darker green and so the darker colors kind of take a little while to blend all together in my opinion, I might be wrong. Maybe other people have better, better time blending. So I'm gonna get off of here and I'm gonna blend these two colors together, and then I'll be right back with the other shade that I'm gonna be so, using. So I got those two blended, as you can tell right here. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with Total Rebel this one right here and I am gonna put some definition into my eye just a tad bit I'm gonna go in right back with that lip um, brush so I can have a more accurate guess you want to see so let's pick up that dark Uh, that dark shade of green it looks like a blue green to me right now I don't know that's what it looks like and it has a little bit of a shimmer into it too okay so let's follow the line below or try to follow it we're just gonna have that little definition into that green So I got yesterday was it was going good like I was enjoying working and everything but I knew we were going to have our truck coming in that day I knew we were going to have it come in I mean dude we had we had two trucks come in that day I mean don't get me wrong it's nice to have you know movement and you know doing all of that but it was it was killer on my back dude i am not as young as i was and i swear i got off of work and my whole body was freaking aching I'm telling you Ugh, it was so bad all right so once we have that it's kind of like crazy right now but i'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow brush into that other green this one right there the one that i did on top and we're gonna just shade it in just shade a little bit just so it won't look so freaking crazy you know what i mean so we're just gonna shade a little bit so we had that and then i'll tell you what the audacity of this man I was, you know, truck wasn't there just yet, so, you know, I was trying to get other things done before it got there. So, this guy, I've seen this guy come in 
a handful of times, you know. Uh, the last time I saw him was on Valentine's Day, and he gave me a, bought me a rose, and literally asking me if I had a boyfriend. I said, no, I am married. I have a husband. And he's like, oh, okay, and then he leaves, blah, blah, blah. Well, yesterday, he comes back. I haven't seen him in ages, and ask again oh uh, you don't have a boyfriend do you i said no i still have the husband though and he's like oh well you know if you want oh i did go in with the other green the screen right here I, that's what i'm doing right now sorry i just went into my moment so you know no, I have a husband. He's like, well, don't you want a like a side piece, like a a side boyfriend? I said, no, I am faithful. And this dude had the audacity to say, well, that's okay. I'll just come back next week and um, try again. I'm like, what the hell, dude? Have respect, dude. Have respect for you and have respect for me and what I told you that I am married and I am I literally told him that I'm faithful I'm not gonna be messing around that's just dumb but he wasn't having it you know what I mean like he was just not freaking having it I'm like whatever he left and I told my manager I'm like well if he comes back and he asks me this again I feel like I'm being harassed. I don't like it. I felt very uncomfortable because I already voiced, you know, my status and he still did not care and I just felt very uncomfortable because he just wanted to push. So I'm just like, mm, nah. So if he comes back and starts doing that again, I'm just pretty sure he's going to be banned. Anyways, but that was my day. I felt it was funny, it was awkward, and it was just down outright because he did not uh, he passed that boundary. I guess uh, that's what I'm trying to say. Like in my opinion, he don't pass that boundary because I I already explained to him that no, I am married. So. I am going to go in with a gold, which I uh, just thought about that. So this part right here where the Y is at and where it's open, I am going to do a little bit of a gold, which it is the, it is like a metallic, like a metal, like this right here. It looks, it's, to me it looks a little like a light gold. So I'm going to go in with that and this is from this brand. I don't, I can't pronounce names, dude. And uh, London. I hope you can see that right there. And so I am going to get a, a small flat brush. Well, not small, but a regular flat brush like this. And this, well, they say this is a concealer brush. I'm using it as a flat brush. I don't really go with what they say because, you know, whatever. You can have different uses for different brushes label don't matter to me so i'm gonna go in with my flat brush and i'm gonna i'm gonna stamp it on sometimes i'm gonna i have to like grab a lot from this one to get that pigment but once i do it's beautiful i don't know if you can see it i mean i don't i don't know what's going on with this lighting right here and it's making me mad And then, as always, we can clean it up. Have that clean line going right back into that sharp green. Which I think it turned out pretty good, dude. I think it looked legit. Alright, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and I appreciate y'all. Appreciate my subscribers and everybody that comes back and watches my videos. I really, really, really love y'all for doing that and I 
I can't even extend my gratitude towards y'all. I really do appreciate y'all so much. I know I have been lacking on my videos and I am so trying to do more videos, but sometimes the motivation is not there. Sometimes I just don't have time or I'm not managing my time. So, you know, life is life and I do apologize for that. So once we have this beautiful color right there, we're going to go in with liner, mascara, everything that goes with it. So let me get off of here. I'm going to do my other eye off camera. Um, and I might, I'm going to, I'm going to do my full face. So I'm just going to do my full face. I'm going to leave this open. So I'm going to do my liner and everything on on camera so let me get off here and let me get this done okay so here we are I finished it I put a little bit of green highlight on right here right here and right here I don't know if you can really tell but here we are I am gonna be doing my liner which is from essence waterproof Let's see, if I can, let's see if I can do this. I'm just stamping it on. Nothing too crazy. Drag it out. So I went from up to down. down again and swooping it in and doing a stamping motion to connect the lines and then we're just gonna fill in turn out too bad. Let's see if I can do it on the other side. So again, we're just stamping. And I'm trying to do a thin line in. And then we're just gonna what's it called? Uh do a little bit of a thicker line as on the wing area once again you don't have to do um, the wing liner if you don't want to you can just have a line on your eyes uh, lash line and you can call it a day or if you want to do the, the wing liner you can totally do it it is up to you. Alright, so I'm gonna go from up to bottom. So, trying to go fast. Ah, oh, I keep messing up. Alright. We're just going to leave that. Because I don't want to mess it up even more. I only use this pencil liner or pencil brow because it has a spoolie mine broke the one that i was using broke and i had to throw it away which sucks because that one was one of my favorite ones but this one does the job so i am just brushing my hair up i'm 
once I have that, I'm just gonna go lightly and push them down again. Not too far down because that would have been a waste. So let's get our spoolie out, brush our brows, and swoop down so they won't be sticking out so much. And then I have my Lexi 221 flat definer. It was just a flat brush, another angle of a flat brush. And I am going with my Billion Dollar Brows, which is right there. And this is the color I'm using, which it is a taupe. And I'm gonna be needing a new one soon. So I just realized that I misplaced one of my freaking lipsticks that I bought. I misplaced it, now I can't find it. And it's making me mad. Because it is a dark brown. I think this one is a little bit darker than the one that I have. But it's a little bit lighter. And it will be... It looks good with this one. And look, it will be looking pretty good with the shadow that I picked out. But I freaking miss So let me do my other brow off camera and I'll be right back. I am going to put on um, lashes and I might do the under eye green. I don't know which one of the greens, but I will figure it out and I will tell you which ones I used. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I am done with my look. I did crimp my hair and I did put the green eyeshadow on the bottom which is not the darkest one but the second to the darkest and i put in a little bit of a light green in there just so it wouldn't be so dark i did put on a mega stain glass from wet and wild and then i put this it's really faded and i can't really see it but it's this dc uh, lip gloss which it is pink and I do have two crowns. I have this one that I can put on, which can be pretty cute, or this one. This, this one I did last year with my Greek Goddess look, and now I might wear it for my Enchantress uh, look as a witch. I don't know, but this is my dress right here. It goes with the, um, I guess with the theme because, you know, it's late 1800s. I don't know. I don't know when it's, when it is, but it's, you know, has that little bodice look going towards it. Um, but yeah, I hope that you liked my makeup tutorial for this Halloween costume. I do appreciate you all for coming and supporting me, um, and please have a freaking awesome Friday, a freaking awesome weekend, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Much love.